This video is sponsored by OnePlus. Now, when I am riding my e-bike like this or doing some hiking or something, I'm trying to get footage of me in like third person. I always struggle with trying to do that because either I have to take my tripod out and stuff and then set it up. But because this OnePlus Open basically has a built-in tripod with the design, because yes, the main screen is foldable, but you can fold it in half and it will stay in place. So what this means is that I can now set this on the ground or set it on a chair or a table or something and now get some cool shots of me riding my bike around and stuff. And it seems like somebody else is doing it. And it gives me that hands-free capability that you can't get with a traditional phone without using some type of, you know, specialized tripod or like a specific case for it. This, with no case, you can get this type of shot like this on the ground or something very easily. But I think one of the ways that most people will use this is going to be for like group shots, right? So if you have like a bunch of people trying to get into the shot at the same time you can set this on a table that will be at a good height to make sure everyone is looking nice and pretty and then now you can go ahead and take that photo or use it to take a video if you wanted to as well and when i am using it in this tripod mode i do like to use the front facing camera that's on the bigger foldable display but you can also use this with the rear facing cameras as well to get the absolute best quality but you will have to place your screen face down on the table or whatever you are so i typically like to put like a microfiber cloth or even my wallet to protect the screen that way, but that allows me to get the full advantage of the three rear facing cameras. Oh, and when you are using this open in this tripod mode, the camera app basically splits in half too. So on the bottom half of the screen, you'll have the traditional camera controls to be able to zoom in and change the resolution and start recording or start taking your photos. And then also on the top half, that will turn into the preview window for the camera. Now for all of my technical nerds out there, I'm going to talk about the specs of the camera, starting with the rear facing camera. So with the wide angle camera, which is the main camera that comes in at 48 megapixels, the ultra wide also comes in at 48 megapixels. And then the telephoto will be coming in at 64 megapixels. And then when you look at the front facing camera on the outside cover display, that will be coming in at 32 megapixels. And then on the selfie camera that's on the bigger inside display, that will be coming in at 20 megapixels. And look, there are a bunch of different other technical specs I could go over with the cameras, but look, I like to keep it very easy and just to show you the photos that I've been showing you so far. And so you can see that with all of the cameras, especially with the rear facing cameras, the ultra wide all the way up to the telephoto all look pretty good and consistent. And I will say that if you are taking photos at night, the main wide angle camera does have an aperture f 1.7, which is the, the lowest out of all the cameras on this phone. So that will allow you to get some really good low light photos, but this phone does have a dedicated night mode that you can enable in the camera app. But something that is often overlooked when using a foldable phone like the OnePlus Open is the fact that you have this big 7.8 inch screen to use as a viewfinder when you are taking photos. But the OnePlus Open also has a cool mode that will basically split the screen in half. So when you are taking photos, you can see that the photo that you just took will show up here on the left hand side of the screen. And then as you keep taking photos, it will keep repopulating. And then you can also slide through and go ahead and see the previous photos that you just took in that particular session. And this is a clutch time saver because normally when you take a photo on a phone, you snap it and then you have to hit the little icon to go into the photo. And then when you're ready to take another photo, you have to go back inside of the main camera app here. So this just makes it a lot easier. But the only thing more fun than taking photos with this one big screen is to actually use both screens on this phone at the same time. So you can enable the dual preview mode in the camera app, and this will allow the bigger foldable display to show all of your camera controls. But the screen on the outside now will basically basically turn into a mirror for the person that you're taking photos or videos of so they can see themselves in that little preview window and make sure their hair is all dead properly. And so when they are ready to go, they can see themselves and then now tell you to snap the photo. And so now hopefully that will eliminate the problem of them asking, hey, let me see that photo real quick. And then you got to show them and then they have to get back into position. This will make it a little bit more seamless. But this also has another trick up its sleeve to allow you to take better selfies using the rear facing cameras. You can enable in the camera app to just use the cover screen as your main viewfinder and so now this will add the camera controls to that outside cover screen while you're using the rear facing camera while the phone is open and then now you can take some super super high quality selfies now when it comes to taking videos with the two front facing cameras you can record up to 4k 30 frames per second and with all three rear facing cameras you can record up to 4k at 60 frames per second but to get the absolute best video quality you can enable dolby vision hdr mode on this phone and that can only record up to 4k 
at 30 frames per second, but this is really going to make those details and the highlights and the shadows really pop on the video that you're taking. Now, you do want to have a decent amount of light typically when you are using this mode, but you can still use this at night. But I did find myself having to pull down that exposure a little bit to make it a little bit darker. But when I was taking some videos of these uh, Christmas lights and stuff at the Botanical Gardens here in St. Louis, it really allowed those lights to really shine. And if I ever wanted to raise that brightness up, I can always edit that in post. And that would be a lot easier than trying to recover some of those shadows if the, uh, the video was already too bright when you recorded it. But after you take a second to dial it in, the video at night came out really well. And also just using Dolby Vision HDR with even a little bit more light when I was at this soccer game or just doing really anything else outside, I was really happy with the results. Then also there's this really cool dual video mode that I've used on other phones in the past, but it is nice to use on a big screen on this OnePlus Open because this will allow you to use and record video from the front facing cameras and the rear facing cameras at the same time. And the final video file will show both of them so you can show your reaction to maybe like your kid playing a sport or something. And at the same time, you can record that moment that you're reacting to like them scoring their first touchdown or something. All right, so look, my main focus of this video was to show you the different ways that you can capture content or your memories that you are taking of your family and friends and stuff with this phone. And just versus a traditional phone, you just have so many different ways by using that tripod mode or using both screens at the same time. But then also as a content creator, this becomes a tool that makes capturing content a little bit easier because of all these different things, especially that built-in tripod mode. I know I've said that a lot in this video, but that's my favorite mode to use. And so yeah, the OnePlus Open, very fun phone to use just in general general but if you are interested in getting this phone again OnePlus sponsored this video so shout out to them but also they gave me a hundred dollars off coupon code that you can use on this OnePlus open and so that code is going to be soldier 100 and that's going to run from the time this video is posted up into January 31st 2024 so that link will be down below that will take you to the website where you can use that but also drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this OnePlus open but like always I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.